Spoilers for Moon Knight Episode 3 lie ahead. In the third episode of Moon Knight, a lot happens, including the inclusion of a brand new personality who is yet to be fully revealed to the audience. However, watchers of the Marvel Multiverse, over here at the channel, we have a pretty good idea of who this personality may be, why they are so violent, as well as speculation on what this personality of Mark Spector, Stephen Grant, and Moon Knight overall suit could look like. In the third episode of Moon Knight, we see both Mark Spector as well as Stephen Grant switch to a brand new personality. However, we never as an audience actually get to see what this personality does. Only the aftermath of his slaughter. At this point, it is even unsure whether Khonshu knows who this personality is, although he likely does. However, thanks to comic book lore, over here at the channel we've taken a deep dive, and we do believe we have discovered exactly who this third personality of Moon Knight is. The first three episodes of Moon Knight have showcased a wide variety of interactions between both Mark Spector and Stephen Grant. And even though Spector largely was set by the wayside for the majority of the pilot episode, the dynamic between the two is now officially set to begin and its evolution continue. Despite these characters being the highlight of the show, they are not the only two personalities that exist within the same body known as Moon Knight. And in the comics, there have been as many as five different individuals that have inhabited the same body. Five different personalities. Perhaps the third most prominent and likely the new personality emerging in the show is that of Jake Lockley the cab driver who has grown into an avid tracker and navigator thanks to his time as a pioneer of the streets. Working as a cab driver of New York City, he is an aficionado of the criminal underworld. While the showrunners have hinted that Lockley might make an appearance in the near future, there is another interesting detail to this idea that might deepen the significance within the series and allow him to play a much larger role in the future. It wouldn't be surprising to meet Lockley within the next few episodes formally. In fact, many fans are expecting that, but it is possible that he might have a Moon Knight suit of his own? If so, what may it look like? Which arcs might it take inspiration from, and why? Well, stick with us today, watchers of the Marvel Multiverse, and let's discuss the possibility of seeing Jake Lockley suit up as Moon Knight of Vengeance, and discuss which comic suits he might take inspiration from. In the series and in the source material alike, Moon Knight is able to manifest different suits that have different attributes or styles based on who is wearing it, and this was shown in great detail during the second episode of the Disney Plus series. So what informs the style of each respective suit for each personality? And how do they differ from formerly Moon Knight, who is Mark Spector's suit, to Mr. Knight, which is Stephen Grant's? Mark Spector in the series is the primary servant of Khonshu and an avatar of the Moon God of Earth, and therefore his suit takes on attributes of ancient Egypt. The mummy-like wraps and ancient aesthetic directly speak to his relationship with Khonshu, respecting his position as Khonshu's chosen avatar, whereas Stephen Grant's own personality led to the development of the live-action Mr. Knight persona. In the comics, Grant is a millionaire playboy who was an avid Wall Street investor as well as businessman, and the Mr. Knight persona that is meant in the comics also represents that. In the comics, Mr. Knight has a suave, confident demeanor in the white-collar world. When dealing with upper-class corporate criminals and issues, Grant and the Mr. Knight persona are off in the front line, and Mr. Knight is a direct representation of this upper-class aesthetic. He elects to use his intellect to solve problems, and is far more pristine than Spectre's iteration of Moon Knight. In the series, we see that Grant is able to manifest a suit that is reflective of his version of Moon Knight, though instead of reflecting the millionaire from the comics, it represents the version of Grant from the series, a polite, mild-mannered worker of the service industry who treats others quite respectfully. In the third episode, he even stops Mark Spectre from killing a group of thugs and even attempts to reason with them, before quickly giving the body back to Mark. With this information, what would inform Lockley's version of the Moon Knight suit if he is ever to be showcased wearing one, which he likely will? Well, let's dive into his character and find out. In the comics, Jake Lockley is a street-smart cabbie with networks and informants in the criminal underworld. As we see in the show, he's also the most violent of the three personalities. This is also representative in the comics, as he is shown capable of entering various criminal underworld rings, and is known as a gruff and tough street brawler. He is unafraid to get his hands dirty, though he doesn't have the same amount of extensive training as Mark Spector does. He is clearly, though, more talented than Stephen Grant. While Spector was a mercenary and professional boxer for many years, Jake Lockley amassed most of his combat experience from street fights and crude underworld brawls, learning more from the trial by fire and figuring things out as he went along. It also informs to the audience why he is much more brutal than Mark and Stephen. 
This lack of training might indicate that he might need a more protective suit that still allows him to dive headfirst into dangerous situations, and he could, hypothetically, manifest a suit more akin to Moon Knight's tactical look. In several iterations of the character, Moon Knight dresses himself in a Kevlar and adamantium blend known as Carbonanium, and uses the protective body armor. The all-new, all-different arc from the 2015 arc showcases perhaps one of Moon Knight's most iconic suits to date, and a variation on the character, combining the classic white attire with an armored look and black accents, adding even more protection. More protection than either Mr. Knight or the Moon Knight suit that we've seen so far in the series. This is a far more practical, street-level suit that could take inspiration from the likes of Daredevil's Netflix series or the new Matt Reeves' Batman film, offering Lockley the necessary protection to make up for his lack of training, while adapting one of the most popular Moon Knight suits in recent memory. This would allow Jake Lockley to join combat scenarios with opponents who far outclass him while drawing on another corner of Moon Knight's comic book lore. While his connection to ancient Egypt is prevalent in most comic runs, many writers elect to use him as more of a street-centric hero, foregoing the supernatural elements in favor of an exploration of the criminal underworld and the psyche of Mark Spector and the other personalities. While Moon Knight has fought the enemies of ancient Egypt and the paranormal threats that come from other planes of reality on numerous occasions throughout the years, he has also been present for the far more grand grounded encounters with criminal kingpins and low-level street thugs from across the city's underbelly, and in these storylines, a more armored and militaristic look is very common for the character. Many fans have been avidly awaiting the arrival of a tactical Moon Knight look, and while it's highly possible that Spectre or Grant might evolve their own attire to match this comic book precedent at some point down the line, seeing a third personality add his own spin on the character would be a refreshing change of pace that adds a third style to his character which is both unique as well as recognizable. This would add some individuality and unique identity to each respective persona, as well as make it very easy to differentiate between the personalities. A more brutal Moon Knight is on the horizon. Something else that we would love to see is Moon Knight rapidly shifting between personalities during one single combat encounter, which we got a glimpse of in Episode 3. While Moon Knight often ships personalities without changing suits, the idea that each personality can summon their own suit that reflects their ideas ideals is what it means to be Moon Knight of Vengeance overall, and feeds into the possibility that changing suits is not an obstacle if the personalities are too rapidly swapped with one another in the heat of combat. If this is the case, then a tactical Moon Knight look would make more sense for the character of Jake Lockley, as it fits with his personality and adapts one of the most iconic styles for the beloved character that is destined to make an appearance at some point down the line, one way or another. But anyway, watchers of the Marvel Multiverse, what do you think Think about our theory that Jake Lockley will possess his own suit in the Moon Knight series. What are your thoughts on this third secret personality that belongs to Moon Knight? And when do you think that we will see him on full display? As always, watchers, thank you guys so much for watching the channel. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and I hope you have a great day.